Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep here and today we're gonna see the deck I used to climb up to Kog uh, in this month So really quickly we are here with Yami Yugi, so maybe you can you can imagine I'm here with a Dark Magician deck Dark Magician deck with balance, so for all who do not know what it does, pretty easy balance You need to play 6 uh, mm, uh, spells, 6 monsters and 6 traps to get one of each in your starting end for sure so uh, definitely the first advice I gave you if you play a balanced dark magician deck uh, play only six spells so you have the most chances of getting a circle in your starting hand and then mm, what we have here is in particular the choice of playing a jar of greed um, you will see in the dual act so actually why I play jar of greed it's really a perfect combo with the magician of dark illusion so stay tuned and enjoy the commanding duels to see all the perfect combo uh, just quickly guys I will show you how to obtain all the cards this is was this was an event card this is a card trader uh, card in those solar kind of level up a reward dark magician we don't need it May um, while dark magic or circle is in future horizon, um, illusion magic is a level up reward of arcana. Uh, um, the eye of Timaeus is from, from guardian of rock. Then we have heat wave level up reward of Rex Raptor. Then magician navigation from guardian of rock mini box and jar of greed. Uh, level up reward and also it's available at the trader. The only that you will need actually is the cavalry It's from the extractor deck masters of chaos. So guys um, Let me know guys if you enjoy this uh, if you will enjoy the the comments on the duels hope of course you will and um, hope you enjoy all the explanation feel free guys to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below and as always guys Enjoy the replays with my voice. Here we go, guys, with a bunch of replays uh, that I'm gonna show you and explain my moves and what I thought when I made those moves. So, the first one we have right here is against a Yemi Marik. If I'm not wrong, this will be really quickly, will hand quickly. So, um, let's start. Of course, we have. Balance and Shadow Game Marek. So, uh, as you can see right here, guys, this is not a perfect end. Of course, we missed that circle, and um, it's our draw phase, so we we did not get to draw another card. So, but the Eye of Demias actually here is the card that makes us um, in a position where we not miss our circle so we do not need circle because we have Tamayos so we have access to dark cavalry as you will see so he just started with a classic uh, submarine roid now the Megaroid city and then a set card of course um, I waited for the end phase to activate my navigation because submarine roid uh, could have anyway attacked directly thanks to its effect uh, and also he used the effect of the field spell to baboosh his uh, submarine roid to uh, 1800 actually so in the end phase then I used my navigation so um, of course um, I was you know ready to negate his trap for the next turn even if I could have waited for you know for the circle and next card but in this case um, because of the fact that we have Timaeus in our hand, we do not actually read uh, need circle because we have little actually. Um, if he has not Kidroid in his hand or defense card from his from his hand like Karibos, so we have little right here, as you can see, as you will see. Of course, the other choice would be uh, the the Magician of Dark Illusion, because thanks to Tsimaius, we will have also our Dark Magician on the field, because we'll activate the effect of Magician of Dark Illusion. So, as you will, as you have seen, uh, unfortunately, we did not draw into a circle, so no um, no problem. And also, if we have uh, drawn circle, we have we could have. Um, had benefit from the effect of circle thanks to the effect of magician of dark illusion because because after time eyes of course we'll get to summon back a dark magician so there you go three monsters fill the board and then he cannot do anything actually because 
we have the negation of um, navigation and then we have piercing damage recovery and you can do really nothing also guys keep in mind that we had illusion uh, illusion magic right here so we um, uh, we will have been okay even for the next turn because in, in its turn we could have activated illusion magic to chip with our dark magician and so you know to have again the pieces of the combo ready against the lunar light really quickly we can go really really quickly if i'm not wrong this is a standard combo uh, we of course the, uh, right here you can see the importance of heat wave he was completely blocked by my heat wave and then i went for the tribute summon of the magician of dark illusion to get benefit of the effect of dark magical circle really easy no defense in hand no keteroid no kuribos really really quick duel Oh, we are here with Yugi Muro, if I'm not wrong, this is um, uh, this is a loss actually guys and here I want to show you why I played uh, my my Jar of Greed even if I lost because he actually was so lucky so the, standard, the starting end is really so good of course it's opening it's not that good uh, he did not for a, he did not go for a synchro summon, so I started with a heat wave because I feel like with my dark magical circle I will have had a dark magician to my hand, and it was that way. Then we go. He cannot summon. You remember for the heat wave, so I go for magician navigation, double dark magician. Of course, I cannot summon my magician of dark illusion because of heat wave. Uh, decided to banish the um the lumina because i didn't want i didn't want him to uh, mill again in the end phase so i go for magician's rod get legion magic and then attack 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 so just easy uh he tap deck into a a second lumina actually as you can see the last card he draw so first you know uh first luck with this draw so you go for heavy, and then he has also uh, Chaos Dragon Levianir. Uh, activate the effect of Wyvern, add another Wy and Levianir to, to his hand, and then he decided to put my Circle and my Dark Magician. Went for the attack, and then here I'm basically scooped. It's, it can seem, but when I activate my Circle, you get not to see it, but the next cards were um, among the next three cards I saw. A magician of dark illusion so what happens here is that I basically have a magician navigation in uh, in my jar of a grade because with circle I can decide the order of the cards so I can I get to decide that the magician of dark illusion will be my next card so that with jar of a greed when I activate it I draw the magician of dark illusion but I have just activated a trap a spell trap so I get to activate the effect of Magician of Dark Illusion, special summon himself on the field and get benefit from the effect of Dark Ma Magical Sickle. Is that this is actually what will happen, but unfortunately, as you will see right here, guys. So he gets to attack the first. I let the first attack go through because I wanted my Magician of Dark Illusion to survive, actually, so that I had, you know, moves for the next round. But when I activate my Jet of Greed and draw my Magician of Dark Illusion, I activate the effect, but he reveals, as you can see right here, he reveals a Chaos Hunter. So I could not, uh, of course, banish his Livianir, and so I get scooped. Uh, of course, I summon a, a, magi a Dark Magician for the effect of Magician of Dark Illusion, but I couldn't do anything, so um, he also had a Begon Saber, so... I just surrender it. I cannot do anything. So in this match, you can see how um, how good is the combo Jar of Greed plus a Magician of Dark Illusion. Even if your Magician of Dark Illusion is not in your hand, so that's really good, guys. Uh, what we got here, I cannot remember actually. So let's see. We have um, really really good hand really bad hand actually because i do not have the the combo ready so um 
Also, guys, I saved these replays because I wanted to show you how the decks, how the deck performs when he gets, um, when he de when he does not get the perfect combo because we already know how Dark Magician is good when he has the perfect combo, the full combo, but how does this Dark Magician deck perform when he has not the perfect combo? We right here you can see the result. So he went for the uh, the special summon of the Mighty Slugger, but he actually here made a mistake because he did not attack. Maybe he thought I had uh, Destiny draw, so actually he was um, he made a mistake. I top decked into a Magician's Rod, go for the Circle. I had uh, already right here. We can go just fast because Illusion, Dark Magician. Then we have Magician Navigation, full combo, banish, and he just scooped. So even, of course, even if he had attacked, he would not uh, actually uh, mattered at all. Is a mirror match. So Dark Magician against Dark Magician, as you can see right here. Um, balance against balance. Who's the better, the best Dark Magician? Um, I get to start first and I have a full combo in my hand so pretty lucky right here even if I have to say that with balance and this build it's not only a matter of luck uh, he goes for a cyclone on my navigation and I activate it he actually take a he actually took a risk right here because uh, if he had you know targeted my my Timaeus, um, Actually, he would have lost in uh, in the next turn, but he was lucky. He did not have his full combo. A lot of traps right here. I went for the Tamias play, but I find out that he had a floodgate. Then he goes for navigation. Not a good move right here. He needed to wait for the battle phase actually. So, bad mistake, I went for the Tribute Summon, Dark Magical Circle, and here, guys, I made a mistake, because um, uh, I get to summon Dark Magician on my field, so I should have uh, banished the, Dark, the Magician of Dark Illusion, actually, so that I could have, you know, uh, gone for the attack with Dark Magician into his Dark Magician and get both destroyed, then I would have, uh, you know, um, a free a free direct attack with my Magician of Dark Illusion. So, mistake right here. And for that mistake, I need to wait. So, I was stuck in there. Uh, he top decked in the Magician's Rod, then goes for a Circle, but Circle was not so gentle with him. Uh, no addition to his hand. Uh, actually, nothing for me. I, go, I went for a Dark Magician attack, easy. Then he... Um, he used actually Dark Magic Veil thinking that he had a Dark Magician in his graveyard, but he had not. So, he actually scooped because he cannot do anything at all. Uh, the match engaged against a Witchcrafter deck. So, new ban list enforced with only one holiday. There we go. Witchcrafters. So, not a good hand, of course. Here again, you can see how heat wave, uh, how good is it wave? Uh, really, so damn good. Uh, it can just stop your opponent. You have basically a free turn when you activate heat wave. And then I had jar of greed, you know, to draw. In this case, guys, I could have also risk, you know, to activate jar of greed and maybe draw into a magician of dark illusion and get a free summon. But I decided to wait, of course, to see what it actually uh, have done. But he finds out that he top decks into a night beam, so I could not have, I couldn't activate my jar of greed. But guys, keep in mind that I, I use Jar of Greed not only for the combo with Dark Ma the Magician of Dark Illusion, but also because uh, it's, it's a free card, uh, it's a, of course a free draw, and you can activate it whenever you want. So for example, if you use a Canadia, or worse, uh, if you use a Floodgate, you're forced to use uh, 
your trap whenever your opponent summon a monster and he has to summon him um, face up so if he set a monster actually I could have not activated my Canadia or floodgate so that's why I prefer Jar of Greed because I'm free to activate it whenever I want it so really take in mind that um, then I really messed up I had uh, illusion magic really useless right now so you can go on really bad situation right here just an attack didn't summon anything then I go I top decked my dark magical circle is Patronus because he needs his Lila to destroy my spell and trap cards maybe he hopes to draw it I added a navigation so really the perfect top deck he goes for a, um, a Shmayera and then activate the effect of Patronus to have a spell in his hand and then I waited for the end of the main phase so that he cannot change the effect of Shmayera if I banish it and I went for the navigation play he reveals unveiling right here to summon a, a, a Madame Ver so I decided to change target and banish of course the, the Madame Ver right there really easy so he gets to add now it's my turn and I have right here an illusion magic so this means free effect of my magician of dark illusion and another banish so right here I think he just made the mistake he activated the effect at the end of main phase I chained my illusion magic he chained his Patronus to, um, to, of course, to get back the Madame Verre. Now we do not know if he did it because he had the other Ver in his hand, so he needed a Ver in the deck to, um, to special summon her with the effect of Mayera. Or actually, if uh, you know, it's just to have the spell in his hand, but. What happens right here is that there was no delay, so I don't know why, but he did not activate the effect of there to negate my Magician of Dark Illusion. But right here, guys, he will not have mattered because for the next turn, I will have had another navigation and another banished. Another banished, uh, of course, another banished effect. But anyway, he did not, so free direct attack for me and really, really easy win. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the this comments. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you like these duels, these com the, these comments uh, to the duels. So, or if you prefer just to enjoy the duel with no comments at all, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys. See you in the next one.